Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome. I'm Zavin Hacks, your host with the most cupcakes in the belly, your frumpy fat friend from the internet. And we are drawing a Pikachu. Yes, a small electric mouse who is rad as fuck because he's a punk rock Pikachu with a sweet ass mohawk and sweet ass leather jacket. Motherfuckers, a badass motherfucking Pikachu. Anyways, what to talk about? Well, if we're drawing a Pikachu, might as well truck, might as well truck, might as well truck, yes. Might as well talk about, uh, first Pokemon experiences? Yeah, yeah. Well, my first experience with Pokemon was a large gray Game Boy and a blue slotted cartridge. And not do that. So, uh, yeah. I had Pokemon Blue for my gray DMG Game Boy. Uh, for you, those of you know, who don't know what a DMG is, it's a dot matrix screen game. DMG means dot matrix game. Uh, but yeah, the uh, big gray brick, and I had Pokemon Blue. Uh, so. In that, I uh, chose Squirtle because, hey, it's blue. Uh, Squirtle is blue. Uh, and off I went on my adventure through the forest and fighting Brock and ending up in a mountain with me and my Squirtle and the ability to use Bubble Beam. So we were wandering around the caves and uh, all of a sudden... Dun 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 You know? The motherfucker evolves into a war turtle. And I had no fucking clue that these things evolved. No fucking clue. The only reason that I received this game was because my neighbor my neighbor's mom talked to my mom and told her that it would be pretty cool because her son had the red version of the game. And I did get... I got along with her son. We were very good friends growing up. Uh, I barely get to talk to him anymore. But we were still very good friends back then. Uh, still good friends now. But barely get to talk, you know. Busy life. <laughs> Crazy hair. Uh, anyways, so I had blue. And uh, so while I was in this cave, it evolved. And I didn't know that. And it was like... Holy shit, this is crazy. Uh, they evolve. And so with that, I, uh, I, I, I was like, what, does it change again? So I sat in this cave where I was just fist fucking motherfuckers. It was just like, I was like Arnold in, in the fucking, in Commando. Just like, fuck you. Just, you're gonna die. You get to fuck you. Just, <coughs> Damn. Damn, the Arnold came on too strong there. Oh, fuck. Damn. But yeah, it was just like, like, you know, just loading up, just... <laughs> Fucking die. Fuck you, Bennett. Fuck Goosh. Fuck you, Geodudes. Fuck you, Zubats. Fuck you, Graveler. Gra Graveler could show up. It could. No, it can't. It's fucking Mount Moon. Nobody fucking shows up to Mount Moon except for fucking... Oh, uh, Clefairy! Fuck you, Clefairy! Fuck you! There we go. But yeah, um... Just... Just destroying these, these poor little Pokemon. Because I was... I was, like, steadily becoming way over-leveled. <laughs> uh, Intel... What do you know? Level 34, 36... 34, 36, and 34, 36, 34, 35, 36, it's one of them, because I, I know they have uh, uh, Venusaur, Blastoise, Charizard, so one of those levels, <laughs> it's been a while, it's been a while since I've had any sort of Squirtle or anything on my team, um, anyways, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I got a Blastoise in Mountain Moon, and after that I was just like, 
even more. And it was just, I just kept going because I was like, does it change again? Does it change again? Until I was like level 40. And I, I was like, hey, dude, check this out. He's like, ah, oh, man, you should have waited to trade me while he had War Turtle. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, dude, but I just wanted to know. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to keep going to find out. He's like, no, it doesn't, it doesn't go beyond that. And he had the guide. So he was just like, yeah, it doesn't change any further than that. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I am in Mount Moon with a level 40 Blastoise, a level 38 Pidgeot, or Pidgeot, 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 Pidgeot Potato, but some, and I think level 32, 34 Radicate because I was just, I was trying to, I wanted to know. I wanted to know. So I made a trade with him. I traded a Caterpie for a, a Weedle because the, I come to find out you can actually get Weedle. It's just super rare in the Viridian Forest now, or it was. Uh, but you could get it in blue. That was cool. Uh, but I we we made that trade and then I leveled the shit out of I I sh like Beedro. Had I caught the bug Pokemon earlier, which I love bugs personally, but I had never like Caterpie was like ah fucking no. Nah. I I was I was going in like Vietnam with this Blastoise and these Pid the Pidgeot cuz I mean Pidgeot was just destroying the bugs. So once I got that, I was just like, okay, so I'll level up the the bugs. So I leveled them up, and uh, while uh, they level up super quick, because uh, the bugs, I guess, had decided to level up really quick. I could have found that out way earlier that they evolve, well before level fifteen for for uh, War Turtle. Uh, anyways. So, by, by, at this point, I got Beedrill. I had gotten a Beedrill, and then I leveled it to I, around level 30. So, all of them were, there, were in the 30s. Uh, I decided to go to my next gym, which is Misty. Uh, so, Misty's Pokemon, I think, were level 18 and 21. Uh, and I have a Blastoise, which is near 20 levels ahead of her strongest Pokemon. Yeah. Just fucking destroyed her. Uh, so that from that point on, uh, I just kept, you know, fighting. I fought all the trainers, which kept me far above the level. So I'm just going through the game like I'm fucking Arnold or fucking, fucking Stallone. Just fucking destroying people left and right. It's basically it's basically Arnold from Commando. Just as as people come up just <coughs> just fucking destroying them. Uh throughout the entire game all the way till the Elite 4. The Elite 4 at that point the level sort of went, you know, more balanced. I was probably level 60. I, I like you know my my Blastoise was about level sixty. It was my s severely strongest Pokemon at that point. Uh, but uh, the only thing I could really do, uh, like I hadn't spent any of my money. Uh, so I hadn't spent any money. Uh, and I didn't think to buy like full restores and shit. So as I was going into the Elite Four, uh, I could make it to uh, the Dragon Trainer, the one, be the the last one, because Gary Fucking Oak came just before you and fucking beat everybody, cause he's a fucking, you know. Yeah, you get it, you get it. So, anyways, uh, I am consistently getting stonewalled at the the dragon trainer and I'm like what the fuck do I do I, I can't and at this point everybody else has beaten the fucking game everybody else is 100 percent at it because I I had blue and I was like I'll trade you here you go here you go here you go and I had a 
pretty decent team. Uh, but I just, I couldn't, because I didn't comprehend the fact that, oh, just buy full restores because you can't go back and heal. So once your characters are dead, they're fucking dead, yo. They're fucking, fucking dead. Uh, or fainted, sorry. If you're so particular about the language. Uh, so, sadly, at, at the entire game, I had basically gone through... As, as Arnold, and then I basically uh, am then Rocky in the first Rocky movie, just getting fucking knocked out. I, I can't fucking win, and it was upsetting. It was. It was super upsetting that I couldn't fucking win. Uh, and I didn't comprehend at the time, because I think it was in, like, fourth grade. And I was like, the entire game, I hadn't fucking used items. The entire game. I didn't even use the rare candies. I didn't fucking know what they were until well after. So. Uh. Yeah. That's that's the story of me playing. That's my first Pokemon experience. I fucking was. A, I was a god up until the Elite Four. And then I got fucking knocked off my cloud. And plummeted from the heavens. Into the dirty, dirty hole in the ground. Uh, so, I think I think that's I think that's all I have to talk about today. So, love, peace, chicken grease. Good night.